Hey guys, Dr. Ray, Chiropractic Plus, and I want to talk specifically about um, the mechanism by which we do corrective work in our office. We are very unique in the fact that we do call it what's called corrective work. We actually make changes on before and after x-rays that are demonstrative and you'll be able to see those changes. The majority of chiropractors don't use this technique, so it's really critical that you understand there's a distinction of the type. Now there's three phases, mix, fix, and lock or set is another term for that. The mix is the warm up. Now we use various equipment for the warm up in our office and you'll also get this in home care. You'll use a wobble cushion and you'll also use your neck traction. This gets your body warmed up in preparation for the corrective adjustment. The obviously the fixed part is where we're actually doing the corrective adjustment where we use our x-rays to measure and know exactly which vertebrae to content to move that structure, to take it from here and through progressive work, moving it back into good alignment. The challenge, however, the majority of people show up in the office after years of neglect. And so the spine moves, but then it shifts right back, which leads us into the lock or the set. Now, that part of it is in our office, we use a vibration technology and we also use body and head weighting. And we typically begin with head weighting, but we always educate and teach the patients how to stand. So the important thing when you're looking, the most common pattern we see is this. They have a forward head position, forward shoulder roll, and anterior tipped pelvis. So what happens by putting the weight here, it causes you to pull your head back by putting a weight here, it causes you to pull your shoulders down. And then the other one is a belly tuck to pull it in to get you back into good postural alignment. So in the beginning phases, we start off with just the head weights and we educate you on the proper stance and posture. So we always teach to pull your shoulders up and back. See, the challenge is most people go up like so, or they come around, they set, and then they just simply roll forward. So I always say, Pull the shoulders up and then pull them down and back. Watch my shoulders pull down and they're back. That tends to pull the head back. Then I recommend a double chin, but don't go crazy on me. But get a nice double chin and then belly button, pull it hard against the spine. So that's our, our standard posture. So then we, as your, your body becomes stronger, we then augment it with body weight. And Dr. Andrew's gonna help us out on this. So again, as we maintain that, so go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and turn and face the camera so they can take a look at it. So there's our head weight and this has four bars in it, which increases based upon time. And this is one of the more common patterns. So we have the head weighting, which is gonna encourage him to pull backwards. And again, he already knows how to stand this way because we didn't begin with this, we educate him on the proper stance. Then we integrated the chest weighting, not to have him pull forward, but to add additional resistance for pulling back and the same thing here in the front. So if we turn him sideways, you can see what he's trying to accomplish is not to let the weights just fall forward, is not to roll forward with the weight, but to resist against it, not in an upward pattern, but in a downward pattern, while he's double tucking the chin here and then pulling his belly button hard against the spine, which I know is hard for you guys to see on the uh, video. So again, I'm gonna come around, go ahead and turn and face the camera, Dr. Andrew. I'm gonna come here behind the camera now and I'm gonna continue to talk. So we can, I'm gonna roll up here and you can see the head weighting position, the chest weighting, which there's different patterns for upper and lower, pull it over to the middle more, your chest weighting's kind of shifted on us. And then the pelvic weighting down down below. So go ahead and turn sideways. Okay. And again, you see what's happening here. We're pulling that chin in and we're setting the shoulders down and back and belly button against the spine. And again, this is one of the more common patterns. Now, what we do otherwise, oftentimes is we do a posterior pattern and we're going to go ahead, Dr. Andrew, if you would pull all those things off and we're going to do the posterior pattern, go ahead and shift your pelvic weights backwards and we're going to change it up into what's called a jet pack, okay? So go ahead and take your jet pack right here and we're gonna sell tape, yeah, I got you. Okay, we're gonna set those on the shoulders. Now again, the idea is not to pull his shoulders back because this person has to encourage pectoralis action to pull the body forward because they have a flat back. Again, this is more of a, what's called a posterior pattern. 
So again, anterior head weight still, because most people have that forward head projection, engagement of the pectoralis muscle here, and here the engagement of the muscles of the pelvic girdle to hold that frame together. So again, back to the concept. The whole thing is a mix, a fix, and a lock. So that's what we do with that. Go and step forward for me. Okay. Now, other times we also can engage things like wobble boards to make it more unstable to force the body to engage even more muscular structure. So again, the mix through homework, right? They got some mix homework and then they got some fix in the office which is where they get the corrective adjustment and the lock or set, which we're talking about here. Now, in addition to the set in the office, you'll have home care to do, which is specifically designed for your body. So this is a more advanced, then we also move into lateral weighting and, and scoliosis type correction, those types of things. So bottom line is guys, that's a completely unique way of looking at it. And that's what we're all about. So guys, thanks for listening. Hope you learned a bit about body weighting and making sure the mix, fix, and lock occurs so you can get your life back. Take care.